Hi, this is Richard Quack coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, who is Richard Quack? And why you should listen to me? Okay, now a lot of people still probably have not know about me. And so today's topic is very important. At least, you know, uh, you know who is the person doing the Facebook Live here. Okay, so the whole purpose of this uh, session is to introduce myself to you. All right, is that okay? Right, let's proceed. Now, before I go on to the, the main topic itself, now I want to introduce to you uh, the Facebook Live that I'm doing on a weekly basis. All right, on a weekly basis, I'm doing a live video on Monday and Friday, okay? Two times a week, Monday and Friday. Basically, uh, it is at 10 p.m. Malaysia time and 10 a.m. EST and New York time, all right? And the topic are on Monday, I'll talk about personal development and on Friday, it will be on marketing, all right? So these are the main uh, two topics that I'm going to talk about. And those are the two days, Monday and Friday. So if you would like to uh, remind yourself, please uh, jot it somewhere, okay? So first of all, who am I? Who is Richard Quack, all right? As you know, my name is Richard Quack, and I come from the sunny country of Malaysia, all right? I come from the uh, sunny country of Malaysia, and I'm married to Nancy, who is my wife, and together we have three lovely children, all right? Uh, Daniel, Nicholas, and Hannah. Okay, so those are the three children. And basically, uh, one of the son is already married. Okay, and the other two are staying with us in the same house. Now, I'm a chartered accountant by profession. Okay, I did my study in UK. I was in UK, in fact, for more than eight years. And I studied, I stud, studied chartered accountancy there. And I was in article sheet and I worked there as well. So basically, I qualified from UK as a chartered accountant. And when I came back to Malaysia, I did not want to work for people. Okay, one of my goals is never, never work for people. So what did I do? The first, the best thing I could do was started, start my own accounting practice. So that's how I started my own accounting practice. And I was in the practice for more than 20 years. All right, for more than 20 years. And of course, now I'm retired from it and I'm doing other things that I'm passionate about. Now, I'm involved with internet marketing and network marketing, okay? And it has been more than 25 years. It has been more than 25 years. And uh, as far as internet marketing is concerned, I was involved with internet marketing during the early days, all right? During the early days and basically when there was no funnel, there was no OTO, you know, and also there was no uh, Facebook, no YouTube, okay? And the search engine is only Yahoo, that's all. So those were the days. And I did give internet marketing seminar as well during those times, all right? Because I was in financial difficulties at one time, and one of the ways uh, for me to survive was to provide internet marketing seminar because I had knowledge on internet marketing, okay? Now, as far as uh, uh, network marketing is concerned, I have experience in network marketing for more than 25 years as well all right and uh, today you know i'm one of the top leader in asia in my network marketing company all right uh, and it is a company from the us which is uh, based on food supplement all right and uh, you know i have been in my 25 years of experience i have only been with two companies that's all two companies all right so it just goes to show that i am a person who do not jump ship, all right? I was with my first company for 10 years, and later on, my existing company, I've been with them for more than 17 years now, all right? And I have the passion of learning. In fact, every single month, I spend a few thousand ringgit, you know, buying materials over the internet, including software and so on, to learn how to improve myself. Although today, I do not give internet marketing seminar, all right, but I still keep myself up to date, all right? So I, and, uh, up to date about what is happening on the internet, all right? Because I do buy courses, I do uh, buy materials, and even software for that matter, all right? So I'm up to date with what is happening on the internet. Now, let me share with you 
uh, my challenges, all right? What are the challenges that I went through? All right, what are the challenges I went through? And basically, this is important because I understand, I want you to understand that, you know, it is through the challenges that you become successful, you become stronger and so on. So I'm telling you these challenges not to brag about it, but also to show you that, you know, that if a person like me can become successful with all these challenges, you also can become successful as well. Okay, now, one of my first challenge that I had was writing my first book. Now, when I was studying in the UK, I had a strong desire to author my own book. In fact, the topic I wanted to author on was how to study. Because believe it or not, one of my hobby was studying. All right, I attended a lot of courses in UK on uh, exam techniques and so on. So I wanted to write a book on how to study. And you know what? You know, that was many years ago. During that time, there was, I don't think there were any book on how to study. All right, but today, if you go to the bookshop, you can see lots of books on how to study. All right, what does it show? It shows that if you don't do it, somebody is going to uh, do it. You know, nobody is going to wait for you. All right, so today, if you go to the bookshop, there are books on how to study. All right, so I missed the opportunity. So basically, I did not write a book at all. I did not author a book at all until one day, all right, I went to a seminar in Malaysia. And during the seminar, I sat beside one young man. Okay, he was much younger than me. And he authored a book, one single book. And I was inspired by him. And, you know, I, uh, after the seminar, I told him, after the seminar, can we meet up for a cup of coffee? And he was kind enough to meet me up. And after that, I asked him a lot of questions. You know, I spent more than one hour asking me a lot of questions, how he authored his book, how he... Uh, you know, get the uh, the editing done, you know, the the, the uh, graphic and so on. So I absorbed a lot of things from him, all right? And basically, after that, I make up my mind that I'm going to come up with my first book within the next three months. Within the next three months, I set a goal to come up with my first book within the next three months. And true enough, you know, within a short period of uh, less than three months, I came up with my first book. And this is my first book here. It's called Cappuccino and Success. All right. It's a simple book, as you can see here. All right. Now, it is not a thick book. It's just a thin book. All right. It is a, uh, what do you call uh, The name is Cappuccino and Success. It is 101 short stories to beat the blues and turn you on positively. Now, let me tell you the truth. All right. Writing a book is not that challenging at all. All right, the thing is that you must make up your mind to do it. All right, so this was my first book. And it's a simple book. It doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be 500 pages book or what. And in this book, it, it, you can see here, it's only 120 over pages. That's all, 120 over pages. All right, it is still a book. All right, and this was my first book, Cappuccino and Success. So I sold it at uh, hard copy here and also as ebook over the internet. I have got a website on that, uh, you know. Basically, I'm selling the book on the internet and also in the bookshop as hard copy. Okay, that was the first book. Now, the challenge that I faced was this, you know. When I wanted to author the book, I had no experience whatsoever, all right? I did not attend any courses on how to write a book. I know a lot of people attended courses on how to write a book and they paid thousands and thousands of uh, dollars to learn about it. But I did not attend it. and I author the book out of my own uh, desperation to become successful, okay? So that is what I did. And you know what? After I authored the book, I went back to the seminar. I met with the graduates there, and I showed them the book. And, you know, most of them tell me what? Well, it's a simple book. You know, it's just a, a matter of stories and so on. And you know what they told me? Uh, it's a simple book. I can do it too. Well, if you're looking for validation from other people, forget about it. You'll be waiting for validation for the rest of your life because nobody is going to give you validation. All right. So what happened is that, you know, uh, uh, most of them did not encourage me at all. So what happened is that, you know, I, I took it as a challenge. I took it as, as a challenge because I always believe that, you know, success is the greatest revenge of all. So I make up my mind. I said, I'm going to come out with my second book. All right. And I came up with my second book later on. And I think my second book is this book, you know, uh, The Insider Secret to Network Marketing. It's about network marketing. So this is my second book. And you know what? I did not stop there. 
and I keep. You see, when you do something, you set a goal, you achieve your goal. Most people will sort of relax, you know, cool off. But you know what's important? You got to use your momentum to move you forward. So I wrote the second book, the third book, and so on. And finally, I authored more than ten books. All right, more than ten books. And basically, you know, it is, uh, it is, uh, it's a mindset. That's about it. You know, to me, it's a mindset. Writing the book is not a difficult thing. You know, it's just a matter of sitting down and making up your mind that I'm going to do it. And of course, you're going to plan for it, right? And I tell you, I authored a book. That is more than 500 pages, you know, more than 500 pages. And you know what? Many years ago, you know, I got an idea and I uh, list out, I think, uh, 18 questions, about 20 questions, right? 20 questions. And I saw out about 50 top internet marketers, uh, marketers at that time. And I offered them, you know, whether they would like to, to do a joint venture with me. You know, and I... Send them the 80 questions and every single one of them, you know, uh, send me back the feedback to the 18 questions. And, you know, one internet marketer, 18 questions, at least, you know, uh, at least uh, 10 pages. All right. So 50 of them, that's right, about 500 pages. All right. And I only wrote my part, the introduction and the conclusion. That's all. All right. So that is how... You have ideas, you know, to author a book is not that difficult. All right. You sit down and plan it out. All right. And I believe every one of you listening here can author a book as well because there's something within you that you know that other people do not know and are looking for the information that you have. All right. You may be good in something. You may be passionate in something. The only thing is that you got to get rid of the limiting belief. I know a lot of people think that, you know, oh, I'm not good in English. Uh, you know, um, I don't have idea. Uh, no one in the family have authored a book before. Let me tell you the truth. My English is also not good. All right. But you know what? You can get the book to be edited by other people. Okay. So that is one of the things that, you know, writing a book is not difficult. So I went through the challenges and, you know, ultimately, I authored more than uh, 10 books. But let me tell you, authoring or writing a book may not make you successful, may not make you rich. All right, it may not make you rich unless you are, you know, somebody who author Harry Potter or Twilight, you know. But the thing is that even it may not make you rich, but you become popular because you are author. That is a side byproduct of authoring a book. Okay, so it's important. And I believe that everyone here listening to me as well have got a book in you. The only thing is to bring it out as all. Well. And a book need not be... 200, 300 pages, you know, like I say, you know, it can be less than 100 pages. Uh, it can be 80 pages, 75 pages. It's still a book. All right. So basically, I, I, I would challenge you that, you know, do something. Because why? For me, nobody in my family, all right, nobody in my family has ever authored a book. So I'm the first one. And, you know, I should be proud about myself. And basically, you know what? The person who uh, uh, encouraged me, the young man who encouraged me, He's still having that one single book. All right. The thing is that when you start, it's not important. He has still one single book, but I have more than 10 books today to my name. All right. So that's important to get started, my friend. And never have limiting belief or doubt yourself. You are capable, my friend. If I can do it, all of you can do it as well. Okay. Do you believe it? Okay. You want a permission to write the book? Okay. I give you the permission. All right. No problem whatsoever. Okay. Uh, that is about my challenge about writing a book. The second challenge I have is in my network marketing business as well. I was introduced to uh, network marketing when I was still practicing as an accountant. All right. And a young man introduced me to the business of network marketing and I joined just to use the product. All right. But one day I decided a few years later, I decided to take it as a business and I started learning about network marketing. And guess what? You know, I fall in love with the profession, with the industry, because I know that this is one of the best industry outside there. Because everybody is looking for passive income. All right. And I, as an accountant, do not have passive income because I'm trading time for money as well. As long as I can operate my accounting office, all right, I have income coming in. Although there are a lot of challenges and struggle there, but then the income can still come in if I am there to do the business. All right. But it's very tiring. 
All right, there are a lot of challenges and so on. So basically, I found network marketing very fascinating. I began to study about it and I took part in it. And, you know, at that time, I was in Tunggano. I was in Tunggano and, you know, I I conduct meeting and training in Bahasa Malaysia. All right. And it was not easy because I'm English educated, right? So what I need to do is, you know, I got to uh, write my notes in Bahasa, all right, in Bahasa Malaysia. And then when I read the notes, you know, I got instantly translated to English. All right. So basically, those were the uh, you know challenges that I faced in my network marketing business as well. All right. And of course, doing the first company, it was a big company, which I was there for about 10 years. And, you know, I had some problem there. Because why? When I was involved in that company, you know, uh, somebody introduced me to a computer education program and I got involved with the program, not because I want to do it as a business, but I wanted to learn how to create websites and how to put my business on the internet as well. That's where I learned how to do internet marketing. All right. And I was involved with that. And I mean, my intention was to build a business, uh, 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 the website for the business, for my network marketing business at that time. But somehow the business started growing. People follow me. And what happened was that my leader, my upline leader, uh, was not happy with me and complained to the company that I, I'm doing something else and so on. And what happened was the company uh, asked me to show costs. All right, show costs. And of course, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm very positive about it. You know, I told them, you know, uh, uh, I told them that, you know, I'm doing this for the uh, learning myself, how to do website to create for the company. And somehow, you know, uh, they asked me to show costs and so on. So I told them, it's okay if, if you think that I, I, I am going against the terms of uh, uh, regulations and so on. So I, I, I took my name out from the business. All right. After working for more than 10 years there, and if we have a, a bit of success, not very successful, but a bit of success that we went overseas for trips and so on. And, you know, but the thing, everything happens for a reason. All right. When I, I left the company, I was looking for another network marketing company. And lo and behold, all right, the existing company that I'm with came to me. And it has been 17 years now, more than 17 years that I've been involved with that company. And we have been highly successful with this uh, existing company. And today, I, we, we live a life of time and financial freedom. Although, you know, initially I had a lot of problems financially and so on. But through the business, you know, we have been blessed tremendously and we managed to settle all our debts, which amounted to more than one million ringgit. We settled everything. And today, every day is Sunday. We live a life of time and financial freedom. All right. And you know what? When I joined this company, existing company, it was not uh, a bit of roses. You know, there are a lot of challenges as well. And I'm sure you heard before uh, in my other life, but I'm going to share with you again, you know, when I started with this company, number one, uh, my my upline is in Australia, is a Malaysian migrated there. So I don't have anybody in here uh, to help me to grow the business. All right. And secondly, uh, the, the, the company was not in Malaysia yet. There was no license. There was no office. There was no license. And there's no product in Malaysia. You know, I have to talk to people in Malaysia, all right, about the business. And some of them listened to me and they registered. And after they registered, I got to go to Singapore where the office was in Singapore at that time. They just opened in Singapore. I got to go to Singapore to submit the registration form there. And on the way back, I got to buy the products and bring back to Malaysia. And you know, Malaysia and Singapore are two different countries. All right, so I got to go through the custom. And literally, you know, there are a lot of challenges. It's just like smuggling product from Singapore into Malaysia because the product has no license in Malaysia yet. So those were the challenges during the early days, you know, uh, without an upline to help me. So we have to take up leadership. That's why I tell people, you want to be successful, you got to take up leadership. All right. And of course, the blessing to me is that, you know, I had experience, more than 10 years experience in the first company. And that's how we become successful today. All right. And today we are uh, uh, one of the top leaders in, in, in Asia. So basically, you know, because of uh, all the challenges that we've gone through. Okay. Uh, today, you know, we, we are still active in the network marketing company that we are with. But the thing is that, you know, we can retire if we want to because we are receiving legacy uh, passive income every single month. I don't have to sell. I don't have to recruit people. I don't have to do anything. All right. The only thing is that, you know, uh, I built it many years ago, and today the business goes on autopilot, and the the, the income comes in every single month. The company pays 
uh, into a bank account every single month without fail for the past 17 over years. All right, so that is as far as network marketing is concerned. Uh, the other uh, challenge that I faced was that, you know, when I was in the accounting practice, you know, I was involved in stock market and so on. And because of that, I lost more than 1 million ringgit in the stock market. In fact, more than 1 million ringgit in the stock market. And when I moved to Slango, where I am uh, sit situated now, I was totally broke with a wife and three small children. I was totally broke. But you know what? All right, we have been blessed tremendously. God has blessed us tremendously, and through this uh, uh, business, we have been able to, you know, change our life. And as I said today, you know, we live a life of time of financial freedom, and we have repaid the one over million ringgit many many years ago. All right, so today, you know, we every day is at home, whether the pandemic is here or not. You no, know, we are always at home because why? We work from the comfort of our own home. All right, so this is one of the things that I advise people uh, about network marketing if you are that full about network marketing that means you do not know what it's all about all right and through my own experience being an accountant by profession let me tell you an accountant by profession you know i'm good at calculation so i calculate every single thing all right when i want to join the company you know i have to calculate and, and find out whether at, just like i'm going to buy a company just like i want to invest in a company i've got to work out you know whether this company is worthwhile for me to put my effort in, my time and effort in. All right, so it is important to understand that you know, uh, uh, if you want to be successful, you got to go through obstacles and challenges and failure as well. I've got my fair fair share of challenges and so on. All right, so uh, that's all my sharing for today. I don't want to prolong it because I want to tell you with three hours or five hours, you know, in, in length, the, all my storage and so on. But uh, the topic is who is Richard Quack and why you should listen to me or him. Okay. Now, uh, again, I want to remind you that I have a Facebook live or live video twice a week. All right. On Monday, which is uh, tonight, Monday and also Friday. All right. And Monday is uh, on uh, personal development. Friday is on marketing, especially network marketing. Okay. And I'm from Malaysia. Okay. And I'm a chartered accountant by profession. I've been involved with uh, internet marketing and network marketing for many, many years. Okay. Why you should listen to me? Because I have authored more than 10 books. Okay. I give trainings and seminars. Okay. On internet marketing, network marketing, and personal development. And I'm one of the top leaders in Asia in my uh, network marketing company. Okay. And I share the challenges with you regarding writing or authoring my first book and also in my network marketing business and also my financial uh, situation that I had challenges many years ago. All right, so I hope that uh, my story will be able to inspire you that, you know, wherever you come from, whatever your position today, you can always change because I always believe that change can happen in an instant. It is the decision to change that takes a long, long, long time. So make a decision to change today. And I tell you, when you will make a decision, everything will start to happen. Everything will fall into place. Okay? So I would like to thank you for your time that you uh, spend with me here. All right? And if you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. Okay? I appreciate you for your time here. So this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.